Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Duke back here from sportsgamers.com and if you're in need of defense in Madden 22, well you clicked on the right video because I'm super excited for today's Madden 22 tip. I'm going to break down the best defense in the game. This is a super glitzy blitz that's going to give you guys quick pressure off the edge. Very difficult to block. You only have to rush four people and it can lock up both the run and the pass. This blitz will work in any game mode. You don't need any specific abilities or really anything to make it work. Now, we're going to be looking at the nickel 245 odd. This is probably, I would say, the most popular with the 3-2-5 wide defense in the game right now. But I run this a lot different than most people. Most people just blitz like crazy from cover 2. I got stuff from tons of different plays. So, I like to run this from either the... Tampa Bay Bucks or Chicago Bears defensive Bucks for the 245 odd. And personally, some of some of the plays in this formation I run with auto flip on, some with auto flip off. I'm gonna run this one I'm about to show you guys with auto flip off. Now, as far as subs go, this is a really nice formation because as you guys can see here, you can put in safeties as your um as your I'm sorry, you can put in safeties as your linebackers. So if you don't have the best linebackers, that's very nice. Um, we're gonna go ahead and you always want to put I, I like to put my fastest uh, linebacker as where you see number 11, uh, where you see Parsons. We're just gonna leave Parsons in because like I mean Parsons is, is pretty much perfect for what we need. And then I do like to have some good ends for rushing the passer and a good D tackle because he's gonna be important for stopping the run more than anything else. So the play I want to look at is cover six. I really like cover six this year, and I like to I like to flip it. Uh, that's why I say I like to have auto flip off. Now I have auto flip on for my settings, but you know in practice mode you can't change them. But in a game with the cover six, I turn auto flip off and flip it. So it's going to be cover six flipped. And I want to show it to you guys against this gun bunch, which is so popular right now. Everybody runs this stuff. And this is going to be able to slow down the passes and the runs at the same time. Guys, if you enjoy my YouTube content, just a reminder, I do tips and gameplays on a daily basis for Madden 22. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Drop us a like. And make sure you comment and do all that nice stuff. Helps me out as a content creator. So this blitz is very easy to set up. And it's actually a sample play from our Madden 22 Elite Defensive Guide. This breaks down all the best defenses in the game. That's going to give you the best chance of getting stops in Madden 22. Personally, I play with like an 80 overall no money spent team. And I'm able to even get stops with the defenses I use. Um, best defenses, best blitzes, best coverages, run defense, adjustments to all the popular formations. Literally everything you guys need to play defense we have in our Elite Madden 22 Defensive Guide. Our Madden 22 Elite Defensive Guide is a must-buy. I'll put the link to it in the comments. I'll pin the comments so you guys can check it out. I promise you guys, you will be a be much better player. So, I've broken down the way this coverage works before. But basically, guys, it's kind of a combo cover 2, cover 4. You have cover 4 match on the bunch side. And then you have cover 2 on the uh, lone receiver side. So, the quarter flat, he's going to take the first guy out on the flat. The, um, the deep zone... He's going to go ahead and match any routes breaking towards the sideline, whereas our, this guy's going to be over the top. Now, I like to the adjustment to the coverage I like to make is to put this guy in a deep half. That's just going to prevent you from getting bombed. Now, as far as to set the blitz up, it's super simple. All I do is I literally just crash the defensive line down or slant them inside, QB contain, and then I move my blitzing linebacker on the contain about one to two steps to the outside, so you actually put the defensive end on the contain. Now, past this, it's whatever you want to do. I always control one of the inside linebackers, kind of depending upon what I'm getting hit with the most. But whoever I control, I like to stand over the center and put them on a blitz angle. So when doing this, I'm not actually rushing. I'm just letting my user take a step forward at the snap to confuse the O-line to think that I'm rushing. But I'm really just playing coverage, so you guys can kind of see here how that works. I just take that running back out of the backfield, and you guys can see... This pressure is screaming. It actually looked like I got two people free there. Uh, most of the, t I mean, I got a, I got an edge and a gap blitz at the same time. Most of the time, I will say it's just one of these guys coming free, and this is why you want fast ends, is because sometimes these ends come up the B gap or A gap. But really, the most consistent thing you're going to get here 
is this guy coming around the edge that you see for the sack. But this, uh, as you guys can see here, this blitz is screaming at the quarterback super fast. And the best thing about this is it, I mean, it works even when they, you know, what does everybody do, guys? You should know if you play online. Everybody does delay fades to their tight end to try to block blitzes, right? Because as you guys know, when you do these contain rushes, if you just block the running back, the running back gets ran around most of the time. So what most people try to do to pick this type of stuff up is they go ahead and put the tight end on a delay fade, and that most of the time does pick up these types of blitzes. The, the, the thing is, is that it doesn't pick up this blitz. So watch this. Again, just take a step forward with your user. I pick up the running back or whoever I see coming open, and we're sacked again before they could even do anything with a delayed fade, guys. Look, the delayed fade still cannot pick this up. Cover 6 is one of my favorite defenses to play against Bunch because it does a great job of taking away the most common things people try to attack you with. And you only have to rush 4 to get this type of pressure. And it's going to be tied into late fades. It's going to be blocked running backs. It is just amazing. Now, what I really like about this a lot is it also is good against the run. So say someone wants to run the ball. Now, would I run this if someone was coming out under center and pounding me with multiple tight ends? I mean, probably not. But if someone's just in shotgun running the occasional run play, it's completely fine, as you guys can see here. Easily able to get just, you know, basically a loss of a yard, maybe no gain there, maybe an inch at the most. I, I don't think they got anything. They probably lost the yard. Now, something you could do if you play Mutt and you want to take this to the next level if you're worried about the run is just put an ability on your D tackle to stop the run. Um... You know, and then, you know, if they try to run inside zones or whatever, he's just going to blow them up without even having to do anything. Now, you guys can see I don't have an ability here, but, you know, it's just a solid run defense, and we were able to get in there for the tackle for a loss. Now, if they're really, really pounding you, some, sometimes something I will do uh, is just change the coverage up a bit to where I put this guy on the corner on the left and a, a, basically a, a deep half, do a hard flat, and then come back down the box to safety. Just bring another guy into the box so that if they do run the ball, I have an extra defender. And again, you guys can see it's just really solid flow to the ball. Again, they probably lost or got nothing. Uh, this is going to be really effective, by the way, against all the meta plays people run. You already saw it against double post. Uh, you can see it against flood, verticals, you know, all that bunch trail, all that common stuff. Match coverage does a really, really good job against now. It's not going to stop everything with no adjustments. Remember, on the bunch side, I would deep path to safety just so you can't get bombed. But it is going to give you your best shot for sure. Um, you know, people can manipulate match coverage still this year. However, it is a lot more effective than you're going to see a lot of these other coverages out here right now. A lot of these other coverages right now are completely broken. This one, at least, I feel like does give you a pretty good shot. And defending most of the common things people use. So like on Flood, you guys just notice, I'll show you it to you again. But what you're really going to want to do is get underneath that out route. Because what you know is the quarter flat, he's going to take that, that quick flat away. I mean, it's sort of open, but it's defended well enough. Whereas the out route, he's coming open, so I get under that. And you guys can see the soft squad does a pretty good job actually matching this in route. And I have the hook zone just sitting under there too, with my deep zones dropping back to take that away. Very, very good coverage. Also, very good for the guys who want to run like Z-Spot or you know Bench Pivot, those types of concepts. Does a great job. So let's take a look at that here. I've Again, I've broken down how effective Cover 6 can be. Just literally the coverage against Bunch already this year. And now you're seeing a Blitz adding into it. And we're just taking it to the very next level. So a lot of people with Z-Spot will do something like this to where they just do a streak flat corner. Again, I'm in the exact same coverage shell. Nothing crazy going on here. You guys can see there, again, I get kind of like an A-gap by my D lineman. And you didn't even have time to get anything off. But if you, even if you did, look at how we just get a little glitchy A-gap. Even if you did, you guys can see the flat. You know, he's guarded well enough. And in the corner, in the deep zone, he's waiting for that corner out. And my safety is deep. Therefore, really, I just have to defend over the middle of the field myself, and I, I have help with another hook zone. Now, obviously, there are other adjustments you can make. 
Like if you're going to control the, the hook zone on the tight end side of the formation, obviously this guy is almost like a wild card, right? You could man him up. Um, you know, you could just put him in, in a flat zone. Like, you know, if you wanted to maybe man this guy up, then you could put this guy in a hard flat himself. You know, there's all sorts of different adjustments you can do coverage wise, but that's just basically how to set up the blitz to get pressure, even against a more advanced blocking schemes and also be able to, um, you know, have some good coverage at the same time. Now, this blitz, you can make adjustments to block it, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's a four-man rush that's super hard to block because the most, you know, effective ways to block blitzes this year don't work against it. But there are some things you can do. With that said, if you purchase the guide, I want to reiterate, this is kind of just one of the more, you know, easy to set up plays in there. But if you purchase the guide, I will be showing you some blitzes that even if you were to, you know, do some more advanced blocking things, still will be getting guaranteed pressure. So I definitely recommend you guys check it out, especially if you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that like button. Until next time, it's Duke, and I'm out of here.